Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 14th, but we know that the timing is fluid. These readings can resonate at any time, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. If you hear my stomach, it is what it is. So you may hear it gurgling at any given time. So. What do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Two of Swords, Reverse, Exposure again. So this exposure is coming. <laughs> it is. Some, some, some sort of lies are going to be exposed if they have not been exposed yet. This is exposure, okay? Somebody's been hiding something. They've been hiding behind a mask. No more. Okay? The truth is going to be seen. We've been talking about this. There's, there's, there's some sort of um, feeling overwhelmed as well. The devil, toxic, unhealthy behavior. Somebody is behaving inappropriately. And it's because they are letting their ego get in the way. There's some sort of manipulation here. All is not as it seems. You know, the devil's ruled by shadow. So definitely something is not as it seems. It may, it may look real good on the surface, but it's not. It's not what you think it is. There's, there's some, some greed here, manipulation, lies. I don't know if there's, there could be some sort of oh, breaking free, but things will probably get worse before that happens. This is a deep, dark place. This is an overwhelming, deep, dark place. This is darkness. Okay, but this is from darkness to light when the Two of Swords is reversed. Light is coming. Light is going to be shown on a toxic situation. Unhealthy behavior, bad behavior. So light is definitely going to be shed very, very, very soon. Ah, I was going to say disaster. I should have just said it. Damn it. Yeah, I was right on the tip of my tongue. This is a disaster. Before, I, as I was shuffling, and here it is. It is a disaster. Okay, this is a tower moment. This is a faded event. This is the universe shedding the light on a situation that is built on false pretenses. It's false. False lies, deception, manipulation, greed, obsession. Something somebody has built something up that isn't stable. Now, when you get the tower card, things are going to come crashing down. So this is like a disaster that has been, it's been uh, able to uh, hold up, because this is the past. It's held up until now. But it's not going to be able to hold up much longer because there's, there's some sort of uh, opening up. Okay, with the Two of Swords reversed, things are about to open up. Things are about to be exposed. This is like uh, a crackdown of some sort. You know, it's lightning that is ripping something apart. It's showing everybody everything. You know, everybody's going to see what's inside. It's time to break free from this falseness. Okay, the devil's needing to break free from this falseness. 
This is a major event. A dismantling of something that looks like it's stable. It looks stable, you know, but it's gonna, it's about to, uh, it's about to blow up by the looks of things. Things are about to blow up and fall apart. And when it falls, it's going to fall really, 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 really fast. This is a fall. This is power. And this is a fall from power. So yeah, there is going to be a fall from power. Somebody is tied to a situation. Their ego is out of control. It's very unhealthy. There's some sort of addiction even with the devil card. Now, the tower is is a structure of some sort. Now, a structure can be your body. It can be your home. It can be your business. This structure is about to experience some upheaval. Okay? This, this upheaval, this disturbance is going to cause somebody to see something that they have been ignoring. Okay. You can't ignore it. You can't ignore the truth. You can't ignore the falseness. You can't ignore it. So when something has been ignored, somebody may have been in denial. They've been in a deep, dark place. There's no light there. You notice there's no windows here. This is definitely dark. Somebody has been in a dark, dark place. It's time. It's time for the light. Okay. It's time for the light to be shed. Ace of Cups. Now, Ace of Cups is all about love. It's a new start in love. It's happiness, affection, um, emotional honesty. Now, this it could be a very emotional time as something gets revealed because this is something being revealed. It could be very emotional. Now, the Ace of Cups is a flood of emotion. So we do have a flood of emotion. There also is, this is all about love. Love is, is where it's at. It's not about being tied to toxic, unhealthy situations that are built on false pretenses. You know, it's not. That's not what life is about. There's materialism here. There's greed. And there's a storm coming. There is absolutely a storm coming. And it's going to, it's very sudden. Okay, so we have a sudden, uh, re re reveal of something. Something is, somebody is going to see something very clearly. It's like looking inside and seeing something. Somebody is going to see something because it, you can't, it's like it just comes out, you know what I mean? It, whatever whatever has been hidden is just seen so clearly. It's it's very interesting. 3 of wands reverse totally unprepared. This is unprepared. Lack of foresight, missed opportunity. Somebody is missing an opportunity or they have missed an opportunity and they are totally unprepared for this emotional situation. It's going to be emotional. This is a flood of emotion, totally unprepared for what is coming. Completely unprepared. There's been a lack of vision. Somebody hasn't been seeing love. This is not seeing love, not seeing an opportunity for love false sense of security that is crashing down, that is seriously about to crash if it hasn't already. Okay. This is coming out of denial, seeing the truth. There's been some overwhelming uh, fears. Okay. There's been some overwhelming obsession. Even somebody may have been obsessed with a false sense of security, obsessed with something that wasn't uh, stable because it felt comfortable or it looked good on the outside. You know, people tend to look at the surface. They don't look deep enough. Somebody has not looked deep enough. They didn't look at the foundation. They didn't look at the, 
the, the stability of whatever this is that they connected themselves to when they first got involved because the shadow was hiding the truth. But now the truth is coming out and it's coming out. It's going to come out very fast if it hasn't come out already. Anyhow, Ace of Cups. This is very, very emotional. It is a flood of emotion. This is going to lead you. This is the Ace of Cups is the hand of God typically giving somebody an opportunity for love. They may have missed it in the past because they were lacking foresight. And there's been some wasted time. Somebody has wasted time. Hmm. Oh, we got two. Nine of Swords. Huge regrets. We have regrets. We have anxiety. We have sadness. We have somebody here who is definitely suffering. They're having regrets. Oh my God. Serious regrets. This is they're some and they're going right over here. So we do have regrets here. This is this is crying over a loss. Oh my God, what did I do? Somebody has missed an opportunity for love because they focused on a false sense of security that looked good. It was because their ego was in the way. Their ego was in the way. They may have been greedy. But now there's like uh, over what this is grieving. It's grieving over a loss. It is. It's grieving. It's oh my God, what did I do? I missed an opportunity for love because of my own greed, because of my own obsessiveness, because of my ego, because uh, I didn't want to honor the truth. You know, I was blocking the truth. Wearing a mask. I mean, the two of swords upright is wearing a mask, blocking the truth, unable to see. You know, fear, fear in the upright. This is a release of fear. And this is fear. Okay, somebody may have been fearful of commitment or something like that. Fearful of falling in love. Fearful of something. But this is seeing the truth. Lies being exposed about somebody that they are connected to. Somebody was connected to somebody that... Uh, Maybe because they were codependent, you know, they didn't want to be alone. So they, they wanted to fill a void. So they built up a false sense of security. So, so yeah, some, or something like that, or they were just obsessed. You know, they were in their shadow. They were in a deep place and they didn't care who they hurt because they just wanted that recognition, even if it was false. Right. Anyhow, this is, oh my God, this is an, oh my God moment. This is, this is, uh, I cannot believe what has happened. You know, I can't believe it. Um, so somebody has missed an opportunity for love because, you know, they were too busy feeding their ego with a false sense of security. Right? There's been some sort of delay. There's been a delay in happiness. There has because of this false sense of security, because of the false foundation. Now the foundation is crumbling. It is crumbling and they're still tied to it, but they're about to be broken free. Okay. Freedom is it's coming. Okay. Because the tower is the universe that is breaking down this, uh, false foundation because Everybody deserves to be loved. You know, love is where it's at. So this false sense of security is going to uh, crumble. It is definitely going to crumble. I feel like this is... Uh, it's sad. It is sad. It is. With, with the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups, this is a sad situation. And you notice the storm in this card as well. It's definitely some stormy weather that is coming. When it rains, it pours. And it's going to pour. It is going to pour. Um, we have somebody here that is go is probably wishing. They are wishing that they did not... Uh, bound themselves or tie themselves to a situation they are going to be wishing if they aren't wishing right now um hmm. this is crying over a loss it is
having regrets, dealing, you know, having some difficulty. So I think there, I think there's some deep sorrow here. There is. There's some deep sorrow here, and it, it stems from the past. Now there's a separation, and there's regrets. There is. There's a lot of regrets here. It's like, if only I would have taken action. This is if only. If only. If only I would have seen. Somebody was lacking vision. It's because of pride. It's because of ego. And codependency. You know, somebody built up a false sense of security because of codependency. They wanted to look stable. They wanted to look stable. They wanted to look secured. They wanted to look like they had it all. Bullshit. This is totally false. Somebody has built up a false... Uh, character put it that way and now they're having extreme regrets and they it feels like you know this is focusing on the past we have somebody here that is is like focusing on or they're thinking about their past they're having regrets there's there's love here because we got love here and we got love here and they're thinking about the love that they neglected they've wasted a lot of time with the three of rods the three of wands reversed they've missed an opportunity for love and now they're struggling really in their dreams they're dreaming about this person or this situation they're being haunted this is dreams dreams there's dreams here so somebody's dreams are really really haunting them And it could even be daydreams, you know, constant, uh, oh my God, I'm losing this opportunity. Ace of Swords reversed. Now that's dishonesty. That's dishonesty. It's a lack of truth. It's a lack of communication. A loss of power. There is going to be a, a shift because this is a shift. There's going to be, there, or there has been a shift. This is a loss of power because there's been a lack of communication. There's been a lack of honesty, emotional dishonesty. So, and this is about being emotionally honest. You know, then this is emotional dishonesty. Somebody hasn't been honest about their feelings because they were hiding behind a mask. They were letting their ego get in the way. Ace of Swords reversed. Now this is lack of awakening. You know, not waking up. Not accepting the truth. Unable to communicate because of ego. There, This is ego, unable to communicate. We, so yeah, we have somebody here that can't communicate and it's because of their pride. They can't communicate. They can't tell the truth. They've been lying. There, they have been. But their ego is still here. And they're feeling major disruption on the inside. Major disruption. And this is like a disaster. It is a disaster. And it's a disaster because somebody has wasted time building up this falseness. You know? It's all about to crumble. Nine of Wands reverse. That is avoiding challenge, challenge, angry. We have a lot of anger here. I do see somebody that is angry. They are having a lot of regrets, so they're gonna get angry. They could get angry. They maybe ha they're definitely having regrets. They're grieving. They're sad. Um, they've been avoiding challenge because uh, they would have to come forth with the truth. They would have to tell the truth. So the best thing to do is to avoid the challenge. There is great personal fear. There is somebody here that is very, um, I feel like they're untrustworthy. They've been wounded, wounded, maybe it's even wounded as a child, inner child problems. I feel like we have somebody here that is extremely wounded. They're overwhelmed. They're having a hard time doing the right thing because... Uh, they have some hard feelings. They're angry. They they don't want to they don't want to own up to their um, falseness. You know, their their the fact that they built a false foundation. They don't want to own up to that because their pride and ego is in the way. 
So we have uh, somebody that here that is refusing to com compromise. They have a chip on their shoulder. They keep repeating the same patterns over and over again. They're burned out. They're exhausted. They're having a hard time sleeping. They want their own way. They're very disagreeable and they have extreme pride. So this extreme pride is stopping them from telling the truth. The easiest thing to do is just to avoid the challenge. And now they're grieving because their pride, the devil, right? They're living in hell with this false sense of security. This is hell. They're living in hell with this false sense of security, but they can't break free from it because they'd have to come clean. Everybody would see. Everybody's going to see anyway. Because you can't, a, a, a cracked foundation, you kind of think, it's kind of like a, the frame on the car, when the frame is cracked, right? It's over. It's not going to last. It's going to crash. It's not going to last for long. So yeah, you may have been able to avoid, or somebody may have been avoid, been able to avoid, they may have went down that path for as long as they could, but it doesn't. It can't last. It can't. It won't. It's not going to. The tower is a necessary evil. It's the universe saying, you know what? It's time. It's time for you to face your ego. It's time for you to face your pride. It's time for you to face your fears. It's time for you to break free from this situation that you got into just to fill the void. Because of your codependency issues. Wake up. So yeah. Avoiding challenge. There's an opportunity for love here. There is. Because it's right here. And it's right here. There is an opportunity for love. But somebody would have to be honest and maybe it's honest with themselves and they've they're so wounded we have a very wounded child here or wounded individual maybe they were wounded as a child that so to the point where they would rather things look good on the outside than them actually be good on the inside doesn't matter what's on the inside as long as it looks good to the outside right that is one wounded individual It's time for closure. When you get nines, it's a sign to move on. We have these nines right here. It's time to move on. You need to be emotionally honest with yourself. Somebody's going to come. They're going to, well, the universe is here. So the tower, that's the universe. That's Uranus saying, boom. This is a rude awakening. Something is going to be exposed. It may have something to do with communication. Page of Rods reversed. Now this is news. Bad news. It is bad news. So, and I do think it has to do with communication. I feel like somebody's been communicating and the news comes out, you know. Unwelcome news is coming soon. We have somebody here that is very confused and they've been indecisive. They've been making excuses and they've been procrastinating and they've lost focus. I feel like we have somebody here that is, is very aggressive. This person is a show-off as well. 
we have a show off here somebody who wants attention they want a lot of attention but they don't you know they are unwilling to compromise with anybody we have somebody here that's unwilling to compromise this is somebody who you know really doesn't have anything good to say but but says things and these whatever this person says whatever comes out of their mouth is a lie it is it's false so we have we have a liar here we have that is ace of swords reverse we definitely have a liar here who has been hiding behind a mask hiding beneath the shadow right the shadow is about to be cleared light is about to be shed on this falseness now we could, and I'm going to change this up because so many people watch this. We could have somebody here that is self-medicating. They are self-medicating because uh, they're in some sort of situation that is uh, overwhelming to them. This is overwhelming. This is tied to a situation. This is angry. There could be some sort of self-medication here. There could There could be some sort of extreme health issues that come from doing that. This is extremes, okay? So it could be health issues, it could be in the home, it could be with your body, it could be, like I said, I don't need to go through it again, but there's going to be a major disruption that forces you, because this is force, that forces you to break free from something that isn't what it looks like. You know what I mean? On the outside, it looks great. On the inside, it's not. You will be breaking free from it, whatever it is. And if you fight it, if you fight it, it will only get worse. It will get worse. So this is definitely guilty. Somebody feeling guilty, feeling sad, having regrets over not moving forward when they should have. Perhaps they are looking at somebody that is... Uh, loves themselves now I mean the ace of cups can be self-love this person may be having a new start in love and they're very upset that they wasted time one more card emotional honesty being emotionally honest with yourself oh my god I've wasted so much time strength reversed this is low self-esteem, feeling inadequate, despair, lack of confidence, unable to let go. Upright is the strength to let go. We have somebody here that has been unable to let go. They haven't been able to find their discipline or their willpower or their self-worth or their self-confidence. And they've allowed themselves to be vulnerable. This is also cowardly. You need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence and your self worth and your. You need to be brave. This is about bravery. Self respect. That's what it is. Self respect. Somebody needs to find their self-respect. Yeah, I do believe we also have a coward here. We have somebody here that enjoys the control. They like to be in control. This person is weak. The opposite of strength is weakness. So we have somebody here that is weak. They're weak. And they, they could be there could be some poor health here. Their health could, somebody's health could be de declining because they can't, they can't control themselves. You know, they can't master their emotions. They can't follow their heart, you know, and there's, there's definitely self-medicating here that, that, this, that, that the self-medication hides the 
truth, right? Anyhow, the truth is coming out. The truth is being felt. I don't know where that ended, but it ended abruptly. And when things end abruptly, there's going to be, you know, an abrupt ending. There is. There is. Things are going to change just like that. On the bottom of the deck is the hermit. It's, you're going to need to go within to reflect. This is a time out to plan. You need to withdraw from others. And think about everything that has happened. This is realizing something. This is a, an awakening of some sort. This is a rude awakening. This is an awakening. So we have somebody here that is going through an awakening. So anyway, uh, something is about to happen that reveals somebody's falseness. It reveals the truth. It causes upheaval. It causes chaos. Like, I don't know if you heard what I said with the strength card reverse. We have a coward here that is, is weak, that has allowed themselves to be controlled. They have allowed themselves to be obsessed. They've lacked self-confidence. So anyway, get prepared. And I think this is unprepared. Somebody is, uh, they're losing something. They are unprepared for a, for the, for a loss. They are with the five of cups. They're unprepared for a loss. Now they're having regrets because they couldn't find their courage. They let ego, there's ego here. They let their ego get in the way of, you know, falling in love or being in love or following the heart or, you know, being happy. Anyway, this is a time of reflection that is upon us as some sort of light is shed on something that is built on false pretenses. Good luck.